I'm Janae, and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies traveling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. What do you think, baby girl? Very chilled. Yeah, she's, yeah, right, she's been in the boat before, you know? It's when the engine starts that she normally can't deal with it. Yeah. You're all right, aren't you? Oh, it's right. You don't want to go in there, though, baby girl. So, uh, you this is one of the best engines you can get. <laughs> all you have to do is capture a wild Australian, feed them on tinnies, I'm, I'll be charging you 10 euro for this. Tinnies and fish are oh, worth every penny. We get to keep it for the season, though, right? That's okay. Emily. Yes. <laughs> you are welcome. That service. <laughs> no, like. Oh, been, look at like, that. Sun's like, Beautiful. Like Cheers. I like it. Okay. Good health. It's nice being on someone else's boat. <laughs> oh, that's fine. It's Hashtag it leading the escapades. <laughs> <laughs> very clean on this boat, and we brought Tiny Cat with us, so it feels at home now. We might just move in here. Yeah. Can we just crew on their boat? Yeah. Because we'll then we wouldn't there. have to have a boat. Yeah. She looks good on this boat. What do you think, gorgeous girl? What have we got here, Master Chef? We've got a salad, a bit of fish. But he doesn't know what it is because he didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laying everything else though. No. I'm everything else. The potato salad was both of us. So, yeah, okay. But, but Jason put in the real work because he got in the water <laughs> and shot this massive bream. That is. <laughs> That's a champion bream as well. You did really well there. Decent size, isn't it? Oh yeah, feast time. Thanks so much, oh. high five. <laughs> Got a nice little spot in the sun. Do you want me to move the hat for no, you? No, don't move. You just leave it off because it might get funny. And then they'll leave. <laughs> it's like a nice little warm spot for her. I'm finally alive. I'm finally alive. morning snorkel this morning. Jason's going for a spear, I think. Are you? Yeah. Going for a spearfish. Have a bit of a swim and hang around here till about one o'clock. Just waiting for some wind and then we'll head to Paxos, to Laka, which I think is the main, main town. And we'll check that out for around there, I guess, for a day or two and then we'll head to Corfu. Hopefully we can catch some fish for the third day in the row. I've caught two every day since we've been here. Yeah. It's been good.
catch today? No catch today. I got very unlucky. I, I hit one. A decent size. Uh, I'm not sure what it was. Right. It was acting like a cod, but it was, it was probably like this big. And I must have got the fin or something because it, it hit, hit the spear but got away. Mm. And then there was another one like the biggest fish I've seen underwater. It was probably like that big. And I got way too excited and I went in way too quick and it just swam away. I didn't really think it through. I was just got it excited. Was, it was there. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and then I went for it and yeah, I spoke to it. No. I, just, I just went way too quick. I should have just gone nice and slow. Kind of hid behind a rock and then went for it. Yeah. But yeah, I just, just I just went straight down. I'm like, Woo! <laughs> All right, we've been here for a few hours. We've had lunch, so we're gonna get going. A few hours. We've well, stayed here all night. No, but we've been here like since I talked last. We've been here for a few hours, and the wind's actually feels like it's picking up. Yeah, we'll get going. Say goodbye to this beautiful bay. Straight out of the bay over there. Got the head sail up. Got about 11, 12 knots of wind. Cruising along. Nicely, yeah. 4.1 knots, not bad. We're not in a rush today, so we just thought we'd get the head sail out, make it easy for ourselves. Yeah. And it's only, it's an hour away if we're going six nautical miles, so. Not we'll just far. cruise, look at the coastline and enjoy it. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's all nice little houses and with like all kind of pine trees and lots of greenery around it. Kind of looks like we're in Italy or something. We both just agreed that Antipaxos is Up one of there. our favourite islands that we've been to in Greece. Yeah. So if you haven't heard of it, Google it, have a look at it, and go. Yeah, it's, it's bloody awesome. It's not that far from Corfu, so a lot of people do Corfu. It's yeah. pretty popular up this way. And it's, and it's close to Lakata, Sikinthos, Kefalonia. It's not far from those either. Yeah. Yeah, it's really tiny, but there's like three really nice beaches all right next to each other. So I think it's pretty popular to go there. It's be probably better to do on a sailboat than um, travel there by yeah, a well, boat even if, and then stay in a hotel. Yeah. Even if you, if you come just to stay in a hotel, I'd recommend hiring like one of the little boats for the day and coming down and doing the beaches. That's what a lot of people seem to do. The closer I will be to This is the shallowest we've ever put in. 0.3 under the keel. Look at the water. And this is like in a little kind of port town and it's stunning. There's a little town over there. A couple of little pebble beaches. It's very, very busy with boats. But I think this is known to be a busy anchorage and it is kind of coming into summer, so. It's kind of to be expected everywhere now. Yeah, look at that water. It's very shallow, so you can literally see the sand and the anchor. I think it's time for a swim. I think it's like getting to 29 today or something, but weirdly it's at 29 at like 4 or 5 o'clock, so... Do you want to show them what it looks like under there, how close it is? The water looks so blue. It looks green in the camera. Yeah, like bluey green. It's nice. Have a look how shallow it is under our keel. Mm. Even our rudder, you'll be like, oh shit. Oh my god. That wasn't a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm probably going to the brick. I don't know if we told you guys, but we end up moving. Um, changing where we anchored 
only because we're so close to a catamaran there because I told Janae to put the anchor down and she didn't listen. She's like, you're going to get too close. Well, don't you stop, And mate. then we lost four meters. No, you were already too close as it nah, was. No, it was just, it was a bad decision. So we end up moving and we tied stern two here away from everyone and it's such a beautiful spot. But the only problem is we've got 0 0.4 under the keel, which is... 0 0.3 even. 0.3, which is the least we've ever been in. But... It's... We're going to walk, we're going to a little walk out around the town. Looking pretty. Matching. <laughs> oh my God, we're matching. Why do we always do this? <laughs> Can't take the Aussies anywhere, honestly. Is that two tinnies for you, mate? <laughs> Cheers. Going for a snorkel slash spearfish this morning. So I'm gonna go for a snorkel. Emily and Jason are gonna go for a spearfish. Jason's just doing his diving, breathing exercises. So kind of like a meditation slash holding your breath. So yeah, it looks nice. I wasn't going to go, I was gonna edit our episode, but Jason said it looks amazing um, at the spot that he checked out this morning. So I thought, oh, stuff it, I'll go. I can always edit at night time, so. But yeah, this is the water here this morning. It's very shallow here, so you can see the bottom. It's really nice and clear. So yeah, I'm excited. And I've got my wetty on um, because I got cold when I went yesterday, so I couldn't stay very long. So I decided I'll wear my wetsuit today. over to our friends on hot chocolate for a barbecue. We had them over last, no, not last night, the night before. So they're having us over tonight and then we'll leave them in the morning. They'll, be, they'll head back to Preveza and we'll head to Corfu. Going opposite ways. Yeah. Parting ways with each other. Yeah. Until next time. Mm.
If you enjoy our episodes, consider becoming a Patreon. We hope to keep inspiring future sailors to get out there and live life beyond limits. Also, for any of you future or current sailors, make sure to check out the Two Get Lost blog, full of sailing tips and stories from their home on the ocean. I'll link their webpage in the description below.